So today we'll discuss the last topic for the first chapter, which is the uniform circular motion. So our topic today is entitled, Going Around in Circles. But before we continue, get your book, Practical Science 8, and open it on page 28. So this topic today is a bit confusing. That's why, before you continue, make sure that your full attention is here. Okay, so are you ready? So between Manila and Quezon City, there is a small roundabout popularly known as Mabuhay Rotonda. Other than being a famous landmark in Metro Manila, it can also help to demonstrate physics lesson, which is the Uniform Circular Motion or UCM. So, uniform circular motion can be described as the motion of an object in a circle at a constant speed. So, take note of that, constant speed. So, as the object moves in a circle, it is constantly changing its direction. So, for example, athletes running a track or vehicles going through a roundabout with constant speed is an example of uniform circular motion. Okay, so consider a jeepney making a complete revolution around Mabuhay Rotonda. So the time it takes for the jeepney to do so is called the period or in symbol capital T. So period is measured in seconds. So recall the equation for speed of bodies along straight line. So again, what is the formula or equation of speed in straight line? So in your grade 7 lesson, we already encountered the equation for speed, which is speed is equal to distance over time. Or average speed is equal to total distance over total time. So don't be confused to this two equation or to the two equation because the two equation is just the same. But take note, the equation for speed in straight line and circular path is different. In circular path, the distance is the circumference and the time is the period. Okay, I'll repeat, in circular path, the distance is the circumference and the time is the period. Is that clear? So in symbol, the equation for speed of a body in circular motion is speed is equal to 2 pi r over period. So in mathematics, the equation for circumference is 2 pi r. That's why we get this, e this equation. So can you follow? Again, the equation for speed in circular path is speed is equal to 2 pi r over period. Where in S is the speed, R is the radius, and the capital T is the period. So the pi in the equation has the constant value, which is 3.14. So 3.14 is a constant value. That's why when you encounter a problem wherein pi is not given, always remember that the value of pi is constant, which is 3.14. So again, the unit for speed is meter per second. For period, uh, we have seconds. And for radius is meter. So let's proceed to the problem solving. I know that you are very excited for this part of the lessons. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's start. So the first problem. Each wheel of the tricycle you are riding has a radius of 0 0.35 meter. If it makes 0 0.45 revolutions per second, what is the speed? Again, the equation for speed is speed is equal to 2 pi r over period. So in the problem, the value of radius is already given, which is 0 0.35 meter. Well, the period is not. 
what you know is that the wheel makes 0 0.45 revolution per second. Just remember that the period is the time it takes to make one complete revolution. Okay, so to get the value of period, it is very easy. All you need to do is by simply getting the reciprocal of 0 0.45 revolution per second. Okay, so period is equal to 1 second over 0 0.45 revolution is equal to 2.22 seconds per revolution. So, the value of period is 2.22 seconds. Now, we already get the value of period. Let's proceed to solve the value of speed by following necessary steps. So, first, you need to find the given, wherein radius is 0 0.35 meter, as stated in the problem. And then, period is equal to 2.22 seconds. And then, the required term is the value of speed, or the speed is being asked in the problem. The equation that we need to use is, speed is equal to 2 pi r over period now for the solution speed is equal to 2 pi r over period then substitute the value of the given in the equation speed is equal to 2 times 3.14 times 0 0.35 meter over 2.22 seconds so 2 times 3.14 you can get 6.28 as the answer then 6.28 times 0 0.35 meter, you can get 2.198 meter as the answer. Then round off to decimal only, we can get 2.20 meter. So 2.20 meter divided by 2.22 second, seconds, we can get 0 0.991 meter per second or 0 0.99 meter per second so did you understand okay so if you have question you can uh, ask me okay through chat okay next okay for the next problem we have a runner is tra training in a circular portion of a field with a speed of 6.8 meter per second in 2.1 seconds, he covers one-fourth of the total distance he has to run to complete one revolution around the field. What is the radius of the circular path? So in this problem, we need to manipulate the equation first to solve the value of radius. Again, the formula, the formula of speed in circular path is speed is equal to 2 pi r over period. So to get the equation for radius, let's manipulate the equation through cross multiplication. So speed times period, we can get speed and period. period. Then 1 times 2 pi r, we can get 2 pi r. So divide both sides by 2 pi to cancel the value of 2 pi. Now we can get radius is equal to speed times period over 2 pi is that clear so now let's solve the value of radius so for the given we have speed is equal to 6.8 meter per second and then for time uh, you need to first analyze the problem to get the value of time so in the problem okay in 2.1 seconds, he covers one-fourth of the total distance. He has to run to complete one revolution around the field. Because there are four quarters in one revolution, you have to multiply 2.1 seconds by 4. So we can get 8.4 seconds. This is not the case always that you will multiply the value of period to 4. So going back to the problem, it is said that he covers one-fourth of the total distance in 2.1 seconds.
seconds. So it is necessary that we need to multiply 2.1 seconds by 4. Okay. Now we already get the value for time, which is 8.4 seconds. So again, what is the required or what is being asked in the problem? So radius. What is the equation for radius? So what is the equation for radius? We have radius is equal to speed times period over 2 pi. So for the solution, we have radius is equal to speed times period over 2 pi. Then substitute the given to the equation. Okay, so radius is equal to 6.8 meter per second times 8.4 seconds over 2 times 3.14, the value of pi. Then 6.8 meter per second times 8.4 seconds is equal to 57.12. Then 2 times 3.14 is equal to 6.28. And then 57.12 divided by 6.28 is equal to 9.09 meter. So don't forget to write the unit of measurement. Okay, so I hope that you understand our lesson today. So this is just the part 1 of uniform circular motion. Part 2 will be discussed next week.